Hey everybody, this is EZ, and welcome back to the finale of the human campaign of Let's Play Warcraft 3. Chapter 9, Frostmourne. The next day at Arthas' base camp. It's too quiet. You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all as important to you? Well, obviously. Spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. What's that matter? You destroyed his homeland at Cosmodon and enslaved his people. The Dark Lord said you would come. This is where your journey ends. Boy, what are you calling boy? And freezing at the roof of the world, with only death to sing the tale of your doom. This looks bad. No, really? There's still one chance. Help me claim Frostborn. If it's as powerful as you said, it might tilt the scales in our favor. I have a bad feeling about this, lad. Me too, man. I but really do I too. promised I'd see this through. When? When did you promise that, Muradin? Now, I will be using Captain, the invincibility code here. Our defense. Let's move out. But I'm not going to use it for the part... You actually split your forest up. You get Arthas and a group of men in the base. I will only use the invincibility code when the base is getting attacked for the first part of this mission. Then I'll use this to finish out the mission. Because... This is going to be a long episode otherwise. It's going to be like an hour long episode otherwise. And I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch this for an hour. Certainly. A sound plan. So let's move on up. Certainly. To the east of side. Course. Of course, you always get griffins towards the end of the campaign, but they'd be so much more useful at the beginning of the campaign. That'd be too easy. And I do like being able to build my own units again. For honor. Because in the last mission you couldn't, which actually made it, that's made the mission hard. You couldn't build your own units whatsoever. Why was that wolf so far out of the way? And how are these knights just literally taking it? What's Is there I mean, this, this part isn't too complicated at all. I mean, it can get complicated. It actually can if you do it wrong. If you don't keep up your healing. Or on. You want your knights to always be full health. Those are the one things you always want is your knights to be full health. Now I did that. That was the I just of course. Re -initiated the invincibility code there. Let's get moving. Because the, the base is under attack. Strength. Like I said, if the A base is under point. attack, What's that is the only time I will use invincibility it's code. Hammer time. The equals button. That's more like it. It will re enter the last code you put in, and the last code that I entered in was the invincibility code. Of course. For honor. Look at those guys. Wendigos. Ancient Wendigo. Holy crap. Okay, let's do this. Murder. Thunderclub. Storm. If they can stop stunning me, I can do something about it. Really? You're still. Still with the stuns there. Still with the stuns. Arthas, keep the night up. Keep keep the night up, Arthas. Come on, Arthas, keep the midget up. Keep the midget up, Arthas. Now, you see that little glowing aura over that Wendigo right there? Yeah, he's not really dead. And I'm getting these as Arthas will hit level 10 of this mission, and I will show you where you fully decked out Arthas. So, that's the only reason I'm getting those little books so I can show you as powerful as he can actually get. The light is my strength. A sound plan. And we keep moving on. Certainly. Based under attack again. Our forces are under attack. So that one on the mini map, so I got it ahead of time. I'm turning it off before we A get to this plan. part right here, because this is the true challenge. Not right here. Certainly. This is not a challenge at all. If you have struggled with these, you should not be playing this game. If you 
trip with wraiths and skeletons, you fought enough of them to know how to kill them. Of course. Even though the wraiths took one of our knights. It's just it's very rude of them. I mean, it's rude to just take a warrior and just do that to him. Here you are, folks. A fully decked out pre-Frostmourne Arthas. I'll show you post-Frostmourne Arthas after he gets it. It's pretty damn cool. For honor. If I do say so myself. A sound Turn plan. back, mortals. Death and darkness are all that await you in this forsaken vault. I doubt there's anything down here more terrifying than what we've faced already. Swarms of undead, yeah, probably. Believe what you will, boy. Why is everyone calling me boy? You shall not pass. And apparently we're entering into Mordor. Of course. The Guardian, level 10. This is the part I actually got to be somewhat careful and it might seem easy at first. But I've done this about a thousand times, so I know how to do this really quickly and easily. Then once you this far into the game, you should already know how to kill these guys pretty quickly, so. Turn away before it's too late. No! Still trying to protect the sword, are you? No. Trying to protect you from it. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> um. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frost. Does this would even look like something you want to use? There's an inscription on the dais. It's a warning. It says. Whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. I would listen to murder, Arthas. Be Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Uh, that is your prince, ladies and gentlemen. That is your prince. I will give anything or pay any price. If only you will help me save my people. No! Meriden! You're my favorite midget! And Arthur says, even look twice, he just throws his weapon away. The Maw of the Paladins. Where is Muradin? We can't hold out for Frostmourne. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. That's actually very true. This is a fully decked out Arthas with Frostmourne. Chaos damage. What is your wish? Chaos damage ignores all defense. Is there so he does 60. Certainly. He does. I don't want to do math. That much damage, 99 to 100. Wait, that's not right. For honor, certainly. Huh? Of course. 99 to 109 certainly. damage a hit. A sound plan. It's not right. Certainly. Of course. A sound. Whatever. Plan. He does that much damage per hit. Do you do the math? Until of I course. can't figure it out right now. For honor. And that no matter what, that happens. For honor. Like so I said, I'm using the invincibility code here just so I can quickly end this. Because this mission will take me a sound plan. an hour or so otherwise. But it is good because Arthas can do hit and runs actually. Like you can just bring Arthas in, he can do a hit and run. Use the devotion aura, divine aura. It does 45 seconds worth of damage and he can kill one or two buildings in that 45 seconds. That's what you gotta keep doing. You keep doing that, keep making sure you kill the acolytes that'll rebuild the buildings. Number one. Because if you keep, they keep rebuilding the buildings. A sound it causes a little bit of problems when you're trying to destroy them and they keep rebuilding them. Because you only have a limited amount of time. Certainly. And actually, when you're invincible, you plan. do not want to focus on the enemies. You want to focus solely on the buildings to take them down. The enemy units they will die eventually when they come to attack your base after you finish 
time, because what you need to do is hit and run. You need to go in with Arthas, run, 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 kill, 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 and that's it. Destroy building, destroy building, destroy building. That's producing a guy. Kill it. Yeah, they have gargoyles. Kill the gargoyles. Certainly. Kill the frost. Kill whatever you want. Like I said, I am using the invincibility code. It's the only reason why I'm doing that right now. You don't have to. Normally you wouldn't. Normally I wouldn't. Like I said, I'm trying to shorten these episodes up for your guys' consumption. Which is the only reason why I'm doing this. So... And as I've stated before, I'll state it again. If you guys want me to, I will do. I will post this mission completely unedited, completely legit, no code whatsoever. And I will show you. It can be per it can be beaten perfectly fine the way I was talking. I'm explaining how to do it. For honor. All you need to do. All, I mean, seriously, all you have to do is hit and run attacks. If you do the hit and run attacks, you will be perfectly fine. There is nothing that can stop you if you do these. Because you need to use Arthas' invincibility, the divine shield right here. And they can't hurt you. So, what's going to stop you? Because they can't hurt you for 45 seconds, and you do over 100 damage a hit. They're not going to be able to stop you. And yeah, I know it's 99 to 109, but it still doesn't look right. It's 89 to 99, wow. I cannot do math. Sorry about that, folks. I've been struggling to do math this entire time. I'm in college for computer support and repair and cannot do basic level math. Apparently, I cannot add 62 and 27. I are smart. Now, on hard mode, those acrobites get rather annoying. Because they keep trying to rebuild everything. However, see, they're dead now. Don't worry about that, because they're dead now, and that's a good thing. And I don't know if they actually—I've never really rebuilt the damn gold mine too. Oh. Well, Morganus is now permanently dead, because he cannot be revived. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about. Ah, crap, I missed it up. I was going to just turn off the code, but no, I guess not. Show you how you actually do it. But this mission is over. If they stop rebooting their buildings. There we go. That was the final mission. As I said before, I will post the full mission if you guys wish it. Just leave it in the comments. You've taken up Frostborn at the expense of your comrades' lives, just as the Dark Lord said you would. How do you know? You're stronger than I thought. Bullshit. You waste your breath, Malganus. I heed only the voice of Frostmourne now. What? You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. He whispers to you through the blade you wield. What does he say, young human? Who is the Dark Lord, really? You haven't told us who the Dark Lord, Lord is yet. The dead tell you now. He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? What? He can't possibly mean to... <laughs> Owned. That right there, if you play the game before, you know who the Dark Lord is, but it's never fully explained in the human campaign, which is odd. I figured they would explain that, but it's not. After taking his vengeance upon Malganus, Prince Arthas wandered off into the frozen wastelands of Northland. Tormented by a Frostmourne's maddening voice, Arthas lost the last vestiges of his sanity. Now, Driven by the sword's dark will, Arthas plans to return home to Lordaeron and claim his just reward.
Ah, my son. You no longer need to sacrifice for your people. You no longer need to bear the weight of your crown. I've taken care of everything. This kingdom shall fall, and, and from the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundations of the world. There is that swing of the sword. Arthas is now in charge of Lordaeron. But what happens now that he is in control? Find out in the next episode as we begin the Undead Campaign of Let's Play Warcraft 3.